All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna go over all the Rel C's movie two stuff. And believe me, there is actually a lot. So if y'all need Rel C's information, this is the video to go to because I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I explained everything pretty well. Now I'm gonna make a whole separate video based off of combat because combat could be really breaking down and I really need to go in detail for that video. But in this video, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about some of the highlights that we had in the movie, the important highlights. So of course, if you like this channel, if you like this video, it would do me a huge favor if you were to like up this video and subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of important informational videos coming out within the upcoming days and today. So SCG, subscribe. Now, of course, I've already said this, but as you guys know, the release date has been announced. So this is actually something I have to go over because in my last video, I did make a mistake. A lot of y'all were asking me some things about memberships in the Discord. So first of all, the release date will be in December. We don't know the exact date in December, but we know it's gonna be in December. And honestly, that's enough for me. But as I said in my last video, uh, if you have membership in the Discord, you will be able to play earlier as early as October. Now I made a mistake in saying apparently because I didn't know the way they typed is a little strange. But for those of you who are asking, if you buy membership once, like if you buy it now, will you still have access all the way back in October? Like when October comes and testing close community happens, will you still have access to it even if you stopped buying it? Well, the answer to your question is no. You have to stay subscribed. You have to keep subscribing. If you buy the Discord membership, you'll get permanent access to this Roblox group, which is the overall Rel Games group. But if you're watching this video, you're here for Rel Cs. So this doesn't matter at all. There's a separate group, as you can see on the screen over here, called Rel Cs. Now this is the group that you have to be in if you wanna have tester for Rel Cs, AKA closed community. This is the group that if you're not consistently subscribed to, that you will lose access in. And so if you're not subscribing every month, you will lose access. Now I was in the podcast yesterday and the Rel Brothers did announce that they will get rid of the membership eventually. So if you don't subscribe, well, one of these days, one of these months, it'll disappear and you won't be able to have any way of actually buying access for membership or close community. So if y'all wanna be on the safe side, then apparently I guess it's best to, to buy membership ASAP. But yeah, if y'all think when October comes around and you'll be able to still play, no, you won't because they will eventually remove access according to them. Now I got some good news for some of you Roblox kitties. This game is going to have what seems to be a tutorial. So you're not going to just hop into this game and oh, I don't know what to do. There's going to be a tutorial and it'll help you get through the game or at least understand the mechanics of the game, which by the way, I think was really well done. There's cutscenes. I mean, it's so clean. There's voice acting. They really just guide you. And through the tutorial, you will fight, uh, I think like two bosses, two NPCs. And one thing you notice when watching the um, tutorial, you notice that there's cutscenes. According to what they said in this movie, there's going to be quite the amount of cutscenes for your story mode, which honestly, I think I'm, I like. They said that it could get annoying, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But it sounds like the story mode is going to be like an actual story mode. So I'm looking forward to that. Now maps, I'm not going to lie. This is something huge that I actually did not expect them to show in this video because I'm pretty sure that the maps weren't going to be complete. So, but I was wrong. They actually showed quite the amount of maps. They showed Hades Asylum. And boy, let me tell you, we knew that this was going to be a detailed map, but it's actually pretty freaking detailed. In the Hades Asylum, there's a bunch of different levels that you could go to, and these levels are big, they're detailed, and they look really good, as you can see in the video. There's going to be an elevator system that apparently you could only access if you're a Marine, and you have to be granted access, which I think is really good for quality of life in the game and gives you more reason to become a Marine. Hades Asylum, each floor will also have its own puzzle system. So there's actually layers to this, bro. And apparently a part of progression will involve this universe. Apparently there's gonna be a Relsi's Gulag. I cannot wait to see how that's gonna work. These guys are. And of course you'll actually be able to lock prisoners, people up in Hades Asylum. Another map that they showed was Dress Rosa, one of my favorite maps in the anime. Dress Rosa and Wano, for me at least. They showed the Coliseum, looked really good. And they showed us a little bit of the base plate of Dress Rosa, which it looks like it's gonna be a really big island. Like if you look on the screen, this look like really scale it, really scale it. The islands in this game is gonna be big and I'm very excited for Dress Rosa. They showed the Rel Baratia and I'm not gonna lie, it's even bigger than it looks on pictures, bro. It's way bigger. In this video, you can see the multiple stories there are in this in this ship and let's be honest when you look at the pictures you did not expect it to be this detailed and this big it looks like you can just go to this baratier and just chill with your friends bro we know cooking is going to be in this game so you could probably come here to fill up on your character maybe get some stats up but of course scg we're going to have a crew full of cooks 
So if you're a cook and you want to join my relatives crew, hey, I got something for you. They also showed another random island. I don't know what this one is called, but they really showed the interior of one of the buildings. One thing they say in this video is every island is going to have an exploration that you could really enjoy, but not just exterior, but interior. Every island is going to have interior buildings that you could actually go inside and enjoy, explore. Just detailed bro just detailed and i couldn't ask for anything more bro like as you can see in this video there's a lot of interior a lot of interior this is not something we've gotten on roblox for the most part especially a one piece roblox game we also get to see the sky baradier which is actually surprising i did not expect to see a sky baradier which makes this crazy is it lets you know that there's probably going to be a whole sky world just like how there's like an underwater world there's gonna be a sky world and you go to different islands Maybe you could capture, or maybe not capture islands, but like there's different islands that you could go to just like on the sea, how there's different islands you could go to. And one of the islands in the sky is the Sky Bratier. It just really makes you feel the levels of progression, the levels of exploration this game is going to have. The Sky Bratier is not as big as the normal Sea Bratier, but oh my goodness, <laughs> it's still, it's still beautiful, bro. Again, the islands in this game is detailed and very lively. And I don't feel like I haven't gotten the vibe as if there's too much open space. Now I want to talk about dexes. There's a few different dexes that they show in this video. The adventure decks, fishing decks, recipe decks, and craftsman decks. Now this is pretty self-explanatory, but these are like ways of progression pretty much. Adventure decks, you go around, explore, and you literally level up and upgrade your decks by doing just that. The fishing decks is obviously how you level up when fishing if you go fishing and you catch different fishes then of course you're going to level up your fishing decks recipe decks is for my cooks by cooking up a bunch of different dishes and making a bunch of dishes you're going to be literally progressing your recipe decks let them cook and for craftsmen you find a bunch of different materials around the world and you craft for your crew and you level up your craftsman decks i want to say that in this game there's going to be events if you're within the proximity of an event it'll just spawn and boom now another thing i want to talk about is there's going to be a bunch of in-game factions and a bunch of in-game crews that you will be able to encounter in this game and i'm not talking about like for example my crew or any other crews created by content creators or players no i'm talking about npc crews over 40 and each one of these factions have their own unique laws and multiple bosses in-game events that will literally affect your reputation within the factions and what i mean by that is you could have bad or good relationships with some of these factions so sometimes maybe there's two crews npc crews fighting against each other and you might take a side with one of the crews creating an enemy with one of the crews and creating a positive relationship with the other crew it could be a camp event a pirate dock event war event raid event dock and village raid events i mean oh my goodness the amount of life and oh my goodness the amount of just normal events that we're going to be getting throughout the game is insane and i cannot wait and we're not just talking about land events there's underwater events such as sea events cargo ship protection cruise ship wars ghost ship events marine warship events that spawn different admirals legendary ship events, sea beast hunt events, and sea beast battle events. So whether you're on sea or land, there's gonna be a bunch of different events that you could encounter. Which makes me wonder if there's gonna be like sky events. They don't talk about that in this video, but eh, there's a possibility, right? Now, I do wanna talk a little bit about combat in this video. We're not gonna go in crazy detail. If y'all wanna go and see combat, in a more of an extreme detail, I'll make a separate video on that. Make sure you subscribe and turn on bell notifications. But I wanna talk about, for starters, the bosses. They showed us a few different bosses, I think about, what, four or five bosses in this video? And one thing that I do notice is that it looks pretty freaking slow, and it's just clear that there's some issues with the bosses. But, nonetheless, they do talk about how bosses could have two or even three different patterns. Attack pattern, which is crazy. These bosses will have a different type of vibe. You'll have to get used to how they fight. It's not gonna just be the simple, oh, let me go up to you and spam moves, no. They might fight one way while fighting and then midway through the fight, they'll change how they fight and you have to adjust to how they fight. I think bosses are definitely unique. They do have to work on them to make them more smoother. But nonetheless, the way bosses work in this game is going to be different from what anything we had on the Roblox platform. If you played games outside of Roblox though, then the fighting in this game should be pretty familiar, at least when in terms of bosses. And now the important thing, hockey. So there's going to be a spiritual tab, something that you don't get 
off rip when you start playing the game. You get the spiritual tab through progression. For starters, visually, there's things that you could do to change your hockey design. Everybody's hockey will be looking different, which is a very unique and nice feature to have. I wouldn't be mad if everybody's hockey looks similar, to be honest, because hockey is hockey. However, if you want to cook and bring more diversity to the game, I'm not going to complain. You can customize your hockey color, and you could choose where your hockey appears on your character. So yeah, in this game, everybody's hockey will look different. Nobody's going to have the same pattern. Nobody's going to have the same hockey areas where they spawn on their body, like the legs, arms, etc. And I think that's pretty beautiful, actually. Hockey will also be overall unique to every player. Nobody's gonna have like really the same hockey build. And I mean, there's gonna be different builds in terms of combat, but there's gonna be also different builds in terms of hockey itself. Hockey is one of the most important features in terms of combat in this game even more so than Devil Fruits. It's like the main focus in terms of combat. So everybody is going to have hockey, everybody's going to need hockey. And I love the way that they do hockey in this game because some people will go, like for example, armament builds, conqueror builds, observation builds. There's a bunch of different cards or I guess posters in this game that you could equip to finalize your build. Now, me personally, I'm going to have more of a conqueror's build. I really like how Busto is in this game. Obviously, I'm going to have a mix of observation as well, but I think I'm going to main conqueror and Buso mostly and I might have like one or two observation moves as you can see on the screen this is the poster storage so these are I guess the stuff that you get throughout the game observation skill this could be observation skills conqueror skills and armament skills within your poster storage and the spiritual tab is I guess what you have equipped so as you can see he currently has a bunch of conqueror skills equipped and two observation I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do when I play the game but I'm probably gonna have mostly conqueror skills maybe Maybe two Busso skills and one observation or maybe two observation. I don't know. We'll see when we play the game. Of course, I don't think everybody's poster storage is going to be the same. I might have some skills that you guys won't have. And I think what you get is going to be kind of randomized. Maybe if you have more points into Conquerors, you're going to get more Conqueror skills. Or if you have more points into Conquerors, the better Conqueror skills you'll get. But yeah, that's pretty insane. This game is going to be full of a bunch of different builds and again subscribe because I'm going to make a bunch of different videos talking about different builds that we do because we will be making a bunch of different slots with a bunch of different builds. I think my main slot will be mainly a speed build and I'm not going to lie for a speed build you're probably going to want to use observation so I might have an observation conquers hockey build. I mean, as you can see, Observation will give you the ability for future sight, allows eight dodges. So you can sense opponent's strength on my, like, yeah. <laughs> Now, that's pretty much all the stuff that I want to talk about in this video. But before I end off the video, I want to go through all of the poster items that's in Rel Sins or Rel Bad's storage. Because he does scroll through it over here in this video. So these are observation skills over here. So this one allows future sight, uh, eight dodges. This one, before the final attack. So there's an indicator that appears before the final attack. It says attack at the end of the effect to utilize the skill. This one, sense opponent's strength. You could sense opponent's presence. That's one, that one's gonna be pretty cool. Dashing evade has 20% higher dodge frame. Gonna be good for a speed build. Evade change to grab counter with a punch, sending the opponent back. Those are the observation skills it looks like so far. These are conqueror skills over here. Infuse conqueror's will into combat. Yeah, I'm mostly gonna be maining conquerors. Exert your will to immobilize nearby enemies and reduce everyone's defense by 50. So this, this is like conquering. When knocked AOE. So this one is one that we see in this video. If somebody knocks you down, like you go down to the ground, people could grip you in this game. However, if you have this skill, it's like Luffy from that one episode when Kaido knocks him. It'll automatically activate Conqueror's Hockey and it'll disable the attackers for 10 seconds. This, I'm not gonna lie to you, I, I am going to equip when I make my character. I'm my main slot by equipping weapon spiritual force exerts increasing your speed for 10 seconds this one stuns everyone turns off modes and puts everyone's keys on global cool cooldown this is another one that i think i will um yeah this is the one i'm going to equip this one i feel like is the conqueror's hockey and now here's the the armament skills up tilt enemies uh, for powerful hockey punch instead of air kicks up tilt so these are kind of like the moves armament is like the moves it seems uh up till enemies for a powerful hockey punch instead of air air kick oh increase posture durability 
by 20%. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. So it kind of like switches out moves then with like armament skills. Increase down slam, AOE, posture damage, and victim lift. Uh, increase combat damage by 4%. Yeah, that's going to be one that I'm probably going to equip. And when normally you would be block broken. Oh, this, this is a good one. A physical attack push the attacker back instead. Uh, third heavy attack creates damaging knockback shockwaves. And those are the armament attacks. So that's about it that I want to talk about in this video. Um, apparently, if somebody has a high hockey, you can sense their presence. Like if they pull up to the island and like a crew or somebody has a high hockey, you'll get, you'll pretty much get notified and it'll tell you like basically you got to get out of there. But yeah, that's pretty much it that I want to talk about in this video. Let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comments below. If this video was helpful, then make sure you subscribe for more videos. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.